Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again, and welcome to the July 2024 monthly vlog. We are halfway through the year. Oh my god, it really doesn't feel like that long. Anyways, I'm going to be uploading my uh, next recipe video. I'm actually going to make another recipe video tonight, which I'll probably upload um, two days later. Because I don't want to do all these cooking videos at once, because, uh, yeah, it's, it, I'm getting a little too overboard, I mean, but I still enjoy doing them, but, yeah, anyways, um, I've been having a lot of spare time, I've been playing more of the Elden Ring DLC, I think I might be halfway through all the main bosses, so, yeah, I'm actually surprised I'm able to make progress here, but anyways, uh, yeah, on to the vlog. Nothing like ending your day with a nice stick of sea salt ice cream that you made yourself. So satisfying. If only I had a friend sure it was. Alright, I know you can't see my TV very well because of the glare, but I uh, maxed out uh, the Scattered Tree Blessing and the Revert Spirit Ash Blessing. Uh, so yeah, I did not think it would be that easy to get. Um, all of them were maxed out. Um, it actually wasn't too difficult. There were some hard to reach areas to get the fragments, but uh, yeah. Also, I beat all the main bosses. All that's left is the final boss, which I'm not going to do right now because my mom's coming over for dinner shortly. So uh, yeah, but yeah, I am all prepared. I never thought I'd actually make it this far. And I almost gave up after the first boss. But even the bosses after felt like cakewalks after that. Probably because I didn't have the blessings, but whatever. Oh my god, I am shaking like crazy. I beat the final boss of the Elden Ring DLC. It is past nine. I'm supposed to go to work tomorrow. Oh my, but oh my god. I cannot tell you how long that took. By far the hardest boss in any From Software game. Oh, it's dark, just... Oh man, now I can rest easy tonight, knowing that I beat it. So I did, um, watch the new Bluey, uh, Bluey mini-sodes uh, earlier this morning. Had a lot of fun watching them. My favorite by far is uh, Muffin Unboxing. Just seeing Muffin on screen just puts a smile on my face. I was just giggling the entire time when... <laughs> it was perfect. I had my chili shirt on, which I got from Hot Topic. And yeah, don't worry, it's in it's it's a men's shirt, so yeah, it's in there. I'm having the sea salt ice cream that I had as the base, not in popsicle form for dessert. It's really good with the butterscotch chips. I don't get why we don't have stuff like this in stores. It's really good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like right, Lecter boy? You know what I'm saying. Alright, I'm about to head out to see Despicable Me 4. Jesus Christ. I remember when Despicable Me first came out back in 2010, that's more than half my life. It's, yeah. Technically, it's the sixth movie because we also have the Minions movies. And, uh, yeah. Maxine, I'm probably going to see tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to get Despicable Me 4 out of the way. I'm seeing it in IMAX. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. And I forgot. Happy Fourth of July. How dare I forget. But, but seriously, though, Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, the movie wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything special. I would do fireworks tonight, but... Yeah, that's gonna be here the rest of the day, so... I love the rain, but... Eh. Moments like this are times where we don't really want it or need it. Three months. I've lived in this place for three months now. That's... <laughs> That's more than how long it is from my birthday from now. <sighs> wow. Anyways, I'm going to be seeing Maxine later. So, yeah. Hopefully it's good. So, I didn't think it was as good as X or Pearl. But I did think it was very solid. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, before um, going to see the movie, I went to GameStop. I wanted to find both Stick of Truth and uh, South Park Fractured Butthole and Stick of Truth. I found Fractured Butthole on uh, PS4. I was just, I've just been in a South Park mood, like after seeing the movie, 
on the big screen and I've just been rewatching the series. I've just been in a South Park mood, so why not play uh, um, the games again? So I'm, I'm probably just going to download Stick of Truth for the PlayStation Store, so yeah. So um, I did get South Park Stick of Truth um, as well, and I spent uh, the entire time playing it, like all weekend, just to get the Platinum Trophy, and uh, was it worth it? Well, the day is about to end, and I got one more trophy to get. Yeah, it's not the hardest one. I already got the hardest one. So, yeah, let's uh, let's earn this. And I just friended all these guys, and boom! There we go. So yeah, there's also fractured butthole. I'll probably uh, on a church. This trophy is a little bit harder to get, but yeah. Uh, for now, I'm happy that I completed this. This is a great game after all. Oh yeah, also, um, they're selling uh, best, uh, or uh, my size bully plushies at Walmart. I already have one, but I bought another one just so I can have something that's not in my bully room. Just hanging out with one of my Morgana plushies. All right, now, excuse me, I'm going to uh, have some more sea salt ice cream uh, to celebrate my victory of completing this game. So today, I met uh, my first internet friend. Uh, at first his name was Domo Daly, but it turns out his real name was Keen Bainham. And uh, as a matter of fact, he's still here. It's been 10 years today since we met. <laughs> 10 years. 10 freaking years. And look yeah. where we are now. Ten years later, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah. By the way, he's the voice of Winnie the Pooh in the skits that Hello, I've done. Pinkin, <laughs> how are you? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Ten years. Ten years, bro. Ten like years. Ten up. years. <laughs> yeah. There are. Uh, nine years ago, we made it. Nine years ago, we made a video together. One year since we met. I know it's been ten. <laughs> Yeah, all I gotta say is happy anniversary, bro, and, uh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Hopefully, it will be, uh, much longer. Pretty soon it will be 20 years. Yep, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, what better day to end a stressful day at work than with Grog? I haven't edited my recipe video for this yet. I'm actually not sure if I want to upload it because... I don't know, I haven't been very proud of how I filmed it because the syrup yeah it's very um it's very sticky and um, I don't think I made it right also it did require or didn't really require it was optional there was some rum that you could put in here but I didn't add it because it was too expensive but I don't know I might but it doesn't matter if I did then you already saw it so I am a freaking maniac. This shirt does not lie. I do run on caffeine, chaos, and bluey. Because I have done another massive bluey shopping spree. I was only supposed to go to the mall so I could use my Hot Topic cash because it was activated today, but yeah, I also went to a few more stores too. I got this bluey projector nightlight. It's better than the small one I have. I also got these two like back to school notebooks because you know I don't have that much paper here but obviously I'm not going to use them they're just for the collection they're not too expensive I also found this bluey nightlight at uh, Kohl's that'll be perfect for my bluey room and this uh, fan guide uh, to bluey season 4 is coming up so yeah I won't do not believe those cancellation rumors because they are completely false why else will we have new bluey mini sods. I also got this backpack because, uh, you know, the more storage I have, the better. I also got this small character backpack, um, which has like, which is like in Bluey's design, you know, like one of those small backpacks that girls like to carry around with cool designs, but this one has like a Bluey plush form. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah, I couldn't resist. And uh, yeah, I got this Bluey hat too. Um, because, you know, there are a lot of bluey, like, adult merchandise now, um, with Hot Topic putting a lot of that type of stuff out, so, yeah, um, speaking of adult-themed, uh, merchandise, I got this 
uh, shirt. I'm in my bandit era. This is probably for fathers, but like I said before, I do want to be one one day. Just gotta find the right girl. So yeah. Anyways, um. Also, I do not have uh, an iPad, but I feel like I should get one just for this. It was on sale, so. And at Kohl's, I got this uh, Bluey sleepover travel kit. So, yeah, this includes a Bluey sleeping bag. I'm uh, there was bound to be one. Anyway, I, I think I can fit in this. Yeah, and um, a sleep mask, which is, which is always good, and a mini pillow. So, yeah, I do not need most of this stuff, but I do if I want to make my room look better, even though it already looks fine. So yeah, this is actually quite a big sleeping bag. I'm actually going to see. I haven't used one of these in, like, years. Generally or something. Okay. We got a better way to do this. Yeah, I am a little too tall, but hey, it's a it's good enough. Besides, sometimes I like to have the cool breeze as I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's just weird, alright. Okay, as for the sleep mask. Fits pretty well. You guys didn't think I would forget about free Slurpee Day, did you? Oh yeah, I needed that. Also, rest in peace, Shelly Duvall. I don't care what anyone says, I thought you were great in The Shining. Anyways, tonight I'm seeing an animated movie called Robot Dreams. It was actually nominated for Best Animated Film this year. I don't know why it took them a long time for them to release it. Like, this time, like, in a, like I know it's getting wider releases, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Oh my god, that was incredible. There was literally no dialogue, I, and I nearly teared up towards the end. Like, seriously, it's all about show, don't tell. It actually, um, it actually, I don't understand why it didn't come out last year near my location, or why it took this long. Well, bottom line, I got to see it, and uh, it was fantastic. So I'm going to see Long Legs tomorrow, um, for now, for today, I'm going to be seeing the 30th anniversary re-release of The Lion King. It's so nice when you get to see a 2D animated Disney film on the big screen, because you just need a break from all the computer animation. They have made some really good ones, a lot of really good ones, but the fact that Wish was nothing special, even though it tried really hard to be, yeah it's best to go back to revisit some of the classics and on the big screen too. Yeah, truly a great experience. You probably knew I was already going to say that, but mm, still have more sea salt ice cream left over, so how convenient since this is from a Disney themed game, so yeah. Alright, we're about to see Long Legs. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. I've heard a lot of internet buzz about it. Expectations are super low. So yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that this is as good as people are saying it is. But, you know, I went to low expectations like Barbarian, and that movie was amazing. So hopefully this will live up to that expectation that I'm hoping to get from it. All right, let's have a quick toast, because The Long Legs was actually really, really good. <sighs> yep. I skipped a few more days, but... um, um From Gamefly, I did run another game. I was actually able to finish it. It's called Still Wakes the Deep. Um, it's a horror game. It's uh, Think of it like Alien Isolation without the alien and not as frustrating to get through. Oh yeah, and despite the fact that you couldn't kill the alien, there's uh, there was combat in that, but there's no combat here. It was alright for what it was. I didn't really find it all that scary. Um, the dialogue though, I just... The dialogue kind of felt a bit awkward, but... It wasn't bad, but yeah, afterwards I went back to South Park Fracture Butt Hole um, to try to get the Platinum Trophy for that. I'm almost done with the main story, um, and I have to beat the game on a high difficulty, so yeah, I'm about to beat it on a high difficulty, so it's so good to know I'm making progress on that. Alright, I just got one more trophy to get in the Fracture Butt Hole. All I gotta do is this.
boom. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps and... Yeah, more powerful than you think indeed. Now, I officially got uh, all the trophies in a Fractured Butthole and a Stick of Truth, so... Well, it'll show up in, in a little bit, but... Yeah, yeah Stick of Truth and uh, Fractured Butthole. There, there it is. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't believe I... I managed to get both for both. <laughs> All right, I'm about to see Twisters. I did watch uh, the first movie. Well, technically this isn't really a sequel. It's just, there are so many movies where it's hard to describe of it not being a sequel, but more of a, there have been a lot of movies like that coming out, but I've heard this one's supposed to be really good. As for the, as for Twister, um, I watched it for the first time yesterday. It's good, but I don't think it's a masterpiece by any means. I mean, the characters, they're pretty generic, same with the story, but it is entertaining if you just want to see a movie involving, you know, disaster-related events that actually could happen in real life. Some of it isn't fully logical because there are elements that aren't fully logical, but hey, twisters can happen, and they can end up being a real disaster throughout many cities, but hey... It's it's somewhat enjoyable, but yeah, let's see how this new movie plays out. So yeah, Twisters was actually pretty good. I might even like it just a little bit more than than the original. Anyways, I've been in a, a platinuming PS PlayStation games kind of mood, so I'm almost done with Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart. I decided to go back and uh, get the platinum trophy for this. And I'm at my very last trophy, which is required to get on New Game Plus. Alright, all I gotta do is get this and... Excellent. Fully stacked. And you know what that means? I am now Masters of the Multiverse. Woo! Oh, that's one off my list. I ran another game from Gamefly, which is Helldivers 2, because uh, a lot of people have been talking about it, saying it was one of the big games to come out this year. I tried getting into it, but I don't know. I, it's really hard for me to know what exactly I'm supposed to do to progress. Like, is there an end to the game? Like, I'm sure there is, but uh, because I'm not really into multiplayer games all that much, um, I do eventually want to get more into it, like maybe one of these days, if it goes on sale, I'll buy it and try getting more into it. I guess I played enough of it, just to see if it'll make my best games of the year list, but you know, we're halfway through the year. I just, I couldn't get into it all that much, besides, I was kind of anxious to try to platinum some more PlayStation games that I own. Uh, one game that I'm definitely going to try to platinum is The Last of Us Part 1, because Last of Us is one of my all-time favorite games, and I figured, since I met Troy Baker, uh, the guy that plays Joel in the game, then, uh, you know, I figured since, yeah, and it's this version that I'm going to try platinuming, not the remastered version, because apparently it's a lot more complicated to get the platinum for that, because you have to play through the game in multiple different difficulties, and you have to, uh... Um, some of the multiplayer requires specific trophies to get the platinum, but right here, since there's no multiplayer, you can just play through the story and do specific stuff, rather than just playing the game on a certain difficulty. Right now I'm playing the DLC, then I'm going to go back to playing the main game to get the rest of the trophies. I'm almost, I'm almost done getting all the trophies for the, le for the Left Behind DLC, so yeah, I'm having fun with this. So I made another Bluey recipe, which is sort of like mini pancakes, but, uh... Yeah, I'm actually not going to um, upload it until I make more Bluey recipes because I'm going to do like a compilation of multiple different Bluey recipes. Speaking of Bluey, they got another one of these kids' drinks in uh, Bluey character form. It's Muffin this time. I looked in various different stores for Muffin. But uh, yeah, I thought I couldn't find her anywhere until I was lucky at a Walmart and finally got her. So... Yeah, I'm gonna drink this and then just save the head part of her so I'll have all three of the uh, bluey girls. Well, so socks technically is one as well, but they don't make her of one. They they didn't didn't make her of one, make one of her. But if they do ever make one of her, then I'll definitely get it. I can't believe I have to do this in order to get the platinum trophy. 
I will. Uh, I feel so bad after doing that. I'm so sorry, Ellie. I kind of regret uh, meeting Troy Baker now earlier this year. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just kidding. It was it was truly an honor to meet him. Such a cool guy. Him and Nolan North. Yeah, truly an honor. So I'm working on another Bluey Recipes video. I'm going to be making multiple different ones. One of them is the uh, purple, purple lemonade that they uh, put out on the official Bluey website with multiple other different drinks. This is pretty good. There isn't any sugar in it, but um, it is rather strong. Mainly just, I guess it's just due to the fact that my, my lemons might have been a little too big. Like it wasn't specific how big the lemons were supposed to be, but yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Celsius, which is the drink I have, which is the drink I have like every single day when I work out. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I really love this stuff. I, I, why else do I drink it every day? So, yeah, but this, this, this is pretty good too. There's no sugar. Um, you could just add like a little sweetener to it, not too much, but it's still pretty good. All right, I got it. You know what that means? This trophy. Yeah, it can't be for nothing, indeed. I guess you could say that was the last of them. The, the trophies. Yeah, I know, I'm terrible. And actually, that is my 10th uh, Platinum Trophy. So yeah, I'm on a roll. Uh, enjoying some purple lemonade as uh, I enjoyed my success of earning 10 Platinum Trophies. And Nectar. Anyways, Deadpool and Wolverine comes out tomorrow. It would be the smart decision to see it that day. That way you can't, you uh, won't have to worry about spoilers. But I'm actually going to wait and see it the next day. Which probably isn't too smart of an idea. But uh, it's just due to the fact that I want to see it in IMAX 3D. And it doesn't play in IMAX 3D until the day after uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, that's why I'm seeing it. So, But I'm not worried. Well, I did it. I made it through yesterday without having to worry about Deadpool and Wolverine spoilers. That's because I barely went on X yesterday, which was Twitter, but... You know what? It's always going to be Twitter in my eyes, so I don't care if... As long as you know what I'm talking about, then, yeah. Some people are loving it, some people not so much. People are saying it's just a bunch of cameos, but, uh, yeah, I did rewatch both of the first two Deadpools. So, yeah, but I'm still looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing a bloody R-rated film in IMAX 3D today, so, yeah. Alright, about to see Deadpool and Wolverine. I got uh, one of these new promotional things. They've been doing a lot of these. They've done this with Inside Out, Minions. They've been doing a lot of these, but I decided to get this one because... I don't know, I'm gonna be disappointed if there's no baby Deadpool in the movie, but yeah, there's <laughs> even if it isn't in the movie, it's <laughs> it's still really cool to have, so yeah. I usually don't get them, but hey, if they ever make a bluey movie, <laughs> you can bet your ass I'm gonna get one of those things if they do make one. Also I'm on Instagram now. Um I mentioned I mentioned this in my review of the movie, but uh yeah, so <laughs> If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, that's going to be a brand new link. I'm going to be posting in every single video now. I had a pretty fun time with Deadpool and uh, Wolverine yesterday, so... Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Deadpool. You ruined my whole weekend because I had so much work to do. And uh, people just kept coming in non-stop. But hey, you know what, on the bright side, that's probably a good thing because Deadpool made over $200 million in the U.S. this weekend. Nearly $500 million total. And, and that's just this weekend too. So I am predicting that it might be become the highest grossing R-rated film of all time. I mean, I mean, it looks like it. I mean, like just people just kept coming in and... 
just so yeah it's good for the movie but it's not good for my time but hey at least I get paid for it it's hard to believe that when it gets to August all the Halloween stuff is coming out so yeah <laughs> anyways I've been playing uh, or replaying uh, Insomniac Spider-Man because I got the platinum for Miles Morales that's actually the first platinum trophy I ever got so I'm going to be going to play the first game again and then maybe do the second game to get the platinum apparently the platinum for those games are actually a little bit more common to get so yeah I shouldn't have too much trouble God, in order for me to get through the Platinum Trophy, I have to go through these slogs of a freaking level. Just, uh, thank God Miles was much improved in the next two games, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, these are painful. Absolutely painful. So, um, yeah, I think I might have worked out on this thing way too much because, uh, a couple of the pieces broke off right there, um, so yeah, I used a hammer to try to balance it, but I definitely need to get a new seat. Um, I could just go to the gym, but I'm just going to be completely honest. I stopped going to the gym not because it was, not because I was tired of it or anything. It's just, it's due to the fact that it gets way too crowded over there when it really shouldn't be that crowded. Just, and every time I'm using like a machine and I want to use another one. I feel like I just have to rush because every time I get off and I want to use that other machine, another person comes and uses it and it's just really annoying. And I don't want to tell that person off because, you know, it's kind of like I'm in preschool, you know? I, I wanted to use that. Give, give, give that to me. No, no. And then just... But, yeah. I, I really shouldn't be working out as much because I have just... But whatever. I'll get another seed. Is it seriously the end of July already? Oh man. It's hard to believe it's been nearly six months since I moved out of my last place. And nearly four months since I moved into this place, so... Mm, but yeah, anyways, I'm probably going to see Trap tomorrow. Anyways, I did order another seat. It should be coming in today. But, uh, yeah, what more is there to say? I look forward to the next monthly vlog. We'll see how things go. Um, summer's almost, almost over. I'm actually kind of relieved because it's been such a struggle at work during the summertime, but it's kind of what I expected. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. War out.